Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for dropping in. Yes, I've not done one of these videos in a while, um, but I thought, you know what, it's a new year. I'm going to make an extra effort this year and I'm going to make more videos. Hence why you guys have been getting so many videos recently on YouTube. Now I'm just gonna pray to God that I can keep up with this pace because God knows it's very hard. Yeah, so I was on a Rise TV um, a couple of days ago and one of the questions that was posed to me was how do I navigate my way in a male-dominated industry? It's not the first time I've been asked this question. It's not the first time I would have thought about this question myself because recently, and I think the more I'm sort of gaining traction in my field, the more people are very curious as to a, how am I doing it? Um, and B, do I feel comfortable doing it? I've always felt comfortable with being different. Um, I've always felt comfortable with not necessarily um, falling into, um, I don't know, the box that is the status quo. I've always been comfortable with standing outside um, of the norm. I feel like I flourish in that arena. I feel like I'm, I'm super comfortable. In despite of how I may feel, um, I do feel that sometimes uh, we can't overlook the fact that people treat you different um, and people have certain perceptions and I know for me I, I do get the eyebrows a lot the hmm really you're a carpenter your furniture maker really how, how, how have you got into that then so basically I'll kind of just give you guys my tips on and how to get noticed in a male dominated industry I want to say simple but it's not simple but the answers in itself will will sound very simple which is try your utmost best to be the best in what you do that is really knowing your industry taking the time to really study your craft taking the time to really understand um, the art of what is it you do. Um, for me, I feel like what I do is an art form. Um, creating in any aspect for me is an art form. Really study your craft. Whatever it takes to know your industry in and out, do that. It's so important. Invest the time in getting better. You know, you might have a natural talent for something, but that's just not enough. You really have to be dedicated to taking the time to invest in continuous growth, taking the time to study, in knowing your numbers, oh my god guys, I cannot emphasize the importance of knowing your numbers. What comes in, what goes out, today, tomorrow, even up to five years from now. You need to understand what you are spending, you need to understand what you are making. And it's not enough to just feel like, okay, money's coming in, that's fine, no. You have to almost predict the future with your finances and, and, and fully really grasp um, what it takes to run a business financially because I think there's so many of us who are creatives out here and sometimes we're not good at numbers um, and because we're not good at numbers we think oh well no 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 it's fine I'm just the creative let me just focus and as long as I'm making money it's fine no it's not fine <laughs> you really have to take the time to do your numbers and to understand um, the financial aspect especially if you are a, 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 you know a creative per se I'm a creative so I have to really take um, my time in order to invest in a little bit of studying um, and honing um, my my numbers crunching. It, it's, it's difficult for me, but I, I, I do make the extra effort um, to improve in that arena because I understand that it is a weakness. person that knows their numbers, that person that knows their terminology, that person that actually comes across that they know what they're talking about. It really does help you to stand out from the crowd, not just from your male counterparts, but as a business person in general. Um, you really need to know your stuff. You know, so many people say, fake it till you make it. I'm not really a believer in that. I feel like that can only carry you to a certain extent. And you know what they also say, a real recognizes real. Somebody who knows their shit <laughs> um, can easily, easily spot out somebody who doesn't. Now, I've been in meetings where um, I've been in, yeah, been in numerous meetings, in fact, where um, we're talking details and people, to me, because I, I know my stuff, 
um, and I've taken the time to learn my industry and to be knowledgeable what's going on in my industry um, and my product and my manufacturing processes and all of the details that build up my business um, I can spot out when people don't actually know what they're talking about very quite easily now there are people that I walk into a meeting sometimes I think wow this guy knows a lot of stuff and you know what men are like you know they want to try to just throw their weight about they want to feel important blah 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 that bravado especially when a woman um, walks into a room and they're not normally used to seeing a woman in this arena um, yeah they want they want to throw that you know the facts and terminology around the room and make you feel a little bit little but it's difficult to make you feel little if you know what you're talking about it's difficult to make you feel little when you've also done your groundwork and you guys are speaking the same language you throw me a terminology I throw one straight back at you not only do I answer your questions based on exactly what you're saying with the right terms and you know and the confidence that I know what I'm talking about but even taking it that step further and telling you stuff that you probably don't even know about about the industry about our conversation about what we're talking about you know little details um, that you know it really just makes you stand out of the crowd male or female um, I always I, I pride myself an awful lot on my willingness to work harder you know it's 1 30 in the morning this is normal for me to be up at these hours working um, it's not normal for me to be necessarily up making videos but if making videos is something that you do as your business be willing to put in the time if Drawing is something you do for your business. Be willing to put in the time if you know whatever industry you're in Be willing to put in that time and be willing to work Extra harder while others are sleeping you're working what you won't find me doing is Always sleeping <laughs> You won't find me doing that because I know what it takes for me to succeed in this industry And I know that I have to go the extra mile try not to focus too much on the fact that you're surrounded by men um, I think that when you're too um, conscious of that fact, by too conscious I mean you literally wear it on your shoulder like and, it, and sometimes it can come across as um, like you've got a chip on your shoulder or you have an attitude or you're even coming, you could, it could even uh, get you to the point where you're coming across rather defensive because you're, you're too aware of the fact that you're surrounded by men and it can work in the opposite direction as well to the point where it actually makes you feel a little bit timid. I always feel like, you know, stand up straight be confident and don't try to be a man still keep very much in tune with your femininity be confident and be assertive um and don't necessarily feel like, oh he's a man i can't do this no he's a man but more than anything else he's a human being and he's your colleague treat him as such um and I think for me, what I like to do is because my industry is very much dominated by men and I enjoy the company of women. I don't always want to be around men. So I intentionally seek out other females in my position um, who are maybe running companies and running businesses in high positions who are also constantly surrounded by men. And I try and tap into their experiences because we all know there will be a lot of funny experiences um, when you're working with men all the time everybody goes through it and especially what's going on in the media at the moment with all around the world um, all this sort of sexual harassment blah 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 and I don't want to go into too much detail about that because I'm not that um, that much informed but however I do know that as women in male dominated industries sometimes we do experience things and we hear things and we witness things that aren't always pleasant um, so it's a completely different video I could probably do on talking about how to possibly handle those situations um, but don't always feel that okay I'm, I'm surrounded by men I'm surrounded by men relax Take it one step at a time, one day at a time, one task at a time, one transaction at a time, one interaction at a time, um, and, and just find other ways to spend more time, consciously to spend more time with other women too. Um, be persistent, be consistent. Um, I can't, I think sometimes um, people fail to understand that you can work hard, but if you're not consistent, in working hard your hard work almost goes in vain if that makes any sense um, you know if I for instance give a real a real life example of my YouTube channel for instance I'm not always the most consistent on my YouTube channel obviously for good reason but if I just give you that as an example for instance where 
I will make a video one week and then a month later I don't do video at one video at all I go three months without doing any videos I find that my numbers and my level of interest starts to drop that's the same in real life situations where if you're not consistent in your craft if you're not consistent in your business your customers will start gaining uh, they'll start noticing and slowly but surely they'll start well I'm following you <laughs> Um, they start showing this, you know, they're not no longer interested basically. It's the same thing in business. You have to be really, really consistent and you have to be consciously consistent because it's, we are human beings and it is very easy for us at times to fall back and um, to get caught up in life and to get distracted and our attention to be pulled elsewhere. For me, it's my business. My business is very demanding and there are times where um, I can't dedicate all the time to YouTube and I'm terribly sorry about that guys and I'm going to try this year I promise 2018 is going to be it's going to be lit. It's going to be different. It's going to be fantastic um, But yeah, it, you know consistency understand that by not being consistent um, there will be there'll be um Consequences basically so try as much as possible to be consistent and to be persistent in your craft and in your business also know that you are amazing know that you are every you have and you are everything it takes to succeed in this arena males or females it does not matter there's absolutely nothing stopping you from succeeding in a male dominated industry um, that you know would be any different if you're an all female dominated industry I, to be honest, sometimes I actually find it quite fun because for me it's a challenge. I, you know, those who might look at me and think I'm not up to the task, um, it comes to that point where you start seeing their minds change and their perception of you starts to make a turn. And that moment, that if you can just identify that exact moment when that begins to happen, it's a beautiful, beautiful moment, and you should just relish and enjoy it. Lastly, I don't want this video to go on for too long. Um, visualize your success. You know, and I think this goes to pretty much everybody, um, whatever industry you're in, whatever sex is dominated, always visualize your success. You know, one thing I do is I talk to myself a lot. Yes, I know it sounds crazy, but I do. And a lot of the time when I'm talking to myself, it's either that I'm role playing a moment or I'm, I'm almost, um, I call it practicing the moment. So I visualize what I want. I visualize a moment has happened and then I role play my response to it, my reaction. Um, if I'm going to get a, a prestigious award, I, I, I role play my response. Oh, I like to thank my mother, my father, my business partners, my investors, you know, things of that nature. It sounds silly, but I, I feel that the, there's power in visualization. And I think a lot of people, great leaders in this world, will tell you that when you visualize what you really want to the point where you can, you close your eyes and you can literally almost touch it. You even get to the point where you, you, you can feel the atmosphere around you. You can almost feel that joy and that reaction in your gut. That's a beautiful moment. And I think naturally, whatever you can visualize, you can actualize. That's, <laughs> that's it for me. That's my one, if out of everything else that I've said in this video, if that's the one thing you can take away from this, then please do take it away. Because if you visualize something you really want, I believe very strongly that naturally you start doing things to bring that about. I just feel like it's the human, it's the human nature. You know, you, may, you have a dream and all of a sudden you start doing things to try and bring about that dream naturally to yourself and draw it to yourself. Those are my top tips on how to stand out in a male dominated industry. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. Stay fabulous and be extraordinary in a way that only you can be. And yes, just do you. And I love you guys so, so much for watching my videos. Um, for all my subscribers who have followed me from right at the beginning, guys, you are awesome and I appreciate you so much more than you would know. And, and for my new subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, and please, yes, just stay tuned um, and I look forward to making more videos for you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.